When a shape rotates, all the particles in the shape move around the rotation axis at the same rotational velocity. When a shape translates, all the particles in the shape move in the same direction at the same linear velocity. When you combine these two types of motion, you can describe a wheel rolling along the ground. As the wheel turns, the particles at the top of the wheel move quickly, while the particles at the bottom temporarily come to a halt, maintaining contact with the ground. The resulting motion keeps the wheel moving forward while it rotates. The faster the wheel rotates, the faster it moves forward, giving its rotational velocity and linear velocity a simple relationship involving the radius of the wheel. We can study this rolling motion by keeping track of a single point on the wheel and watching how it moves as the wheel rolls forward. In this code, we set up a disk to move along a track. Here we use the relationship between linear velocity and rotational velocity to keep the disk moving forward at an appropriate speed. We create the disk at the left edge of the track. We'll use the texture feature to place an image on the disk, which will help us see the disk rotate. We then place a small marker point on the edge of the disk. Notice that everything about the marker's position is related to the disk. Any adjustments that we make to the disk will automatically keep the marker on the edge of the disk. Next, we set up an animation loop that will run until the center of the disk reaches the end of the track. We move the disk forward according to velocity multiplied by the time step, and we rotate the disk by an angle equal to the rotational velocity times the time step. Then we move the marker, keeping it at the same spot on the edge of the disk. We'll use the variable point distance to keep track of how far the marker has traveled. Running the code, we can see the disk rotate, and the marker point helps us see how the bottom point of the disk always keeps tight contact with the track. The trail left behind by the marker point traces out one of the most interesting shapes in geometry, a cycloid. This cycloid rises up quickly as the marker point approaches the top of the disk and abruptly changes direction every time it touches the track. We call this sharp change in direction a cusp, and the slope of the cycloid, delta y over delta x, is actually undefined at each cusp. If we make the radius of the disk smaller, it needs to make more revolutions to arrive at the end of the track, and the cycloid picks up more cusps. You can also model what happens when a rolling disk doesn't maintain enough friction with the track by adjusting the relationship between linear velocity and rotational velocity. Notice that the cusps become broadened out and we no longer have a cycloid. You have now learned how to model rolling motion using vPython. Follow the link in the description below to find a set of activities that will help you learn more about rolling motion.